Website traffic. Website traffic is the visitors that see what you have to offer. When you have your own website, you will want to drive as much targeted traffic to your web pages as you can. There are free ways to do this and paid ways. Here's something very important for you to remember. No website traffic equals no online income. You have to get visitors to make money online. Nothing else matters. Once you have your website set up, then you need to look at ways to do this and work on this regularly. The more visitors or website traffic you can generate, the more money you are likely to make. Broad traffic. You may have seen people advertising services to send you tens of thousands of visitors for a few dollars. This is broad traffic. If you are marketing a product or service that will appeal to a wide range of people, in other words, weight loss, then you may find a very small percentage will be interested to learn more. Most of the visitors will not be interested at all. Targeted traffic. What about getting visitors to your website that are actually interested in what you have to offer? Do you think that some of these visitors might convert? Yes, they will. If you have a website that is in the parenting niche and teaches people how to be good parents, then you need to find visitors that are interested in doing this. This is targeted traffic. You may be thinking that this is very difficult to find, but it really isn't. There are two ways to get targeted visitors. These are free traffic methods and paid traffic methods. Both can bring you visitors that are interested in your website. Search engines and social media. Two of the best places to get traffic from are search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. And social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. The traffic from search engines is very targeted as the visitors are searching for what you are offering. Traffic can be less targeted on social media, but it is a lot better than broad traffic. Free traffic methods. SEO. Search engine optimization, SEO, is where you optimize your website's pages so that the search engines can fully understand what your content is about. You need to include keywords in your content that visitors to search engines will use to find your website. A keyword is a term that a person will enter into a search engine, such as Google. These keywords can be one word to several words long. Some examples are parenting skills, make money online, how to recover data from my hard drive, HostGator review. A good SEO campaign always starts with comprehensive keyword research. You want to find as many keyword terms as you can to include in your web pages. You can find many keyword terms by using the Google Keyword Planner. You need to optimize your web pages. You need to pay careful attention to the title of the page, the description, and the keywords used in the body text. It is important not to overdo it here. Just make sure that there is at least one instance of the keywords on your page that you want to rank for. Once your pages are optimized, then you will need some high-quality backlinks to your site. This is not a course on SEO, so the best advice is to try and get links from related websites that have good authority. Alternatively, you can outsource your SEO backlinking. Here is an SEO bonus for you. It is a lot easier and faster to rank a YouTube video on Google for your keywords than it is to rank your own website. You can make a video about your business or offer and then upload it to YouTube and optimize it for your keywords. Forum Marketing there is very likely to be a forum associated with your chosen niche that you can use to get the word out about your offer. The easiest way to find these forums is to use Google and search for your niche forums where your niche is what you are involved in, such as parenting. You want to find forums that are active and have a lot of members. A forum that looks like a ghost town is no good for this. The other thing that you need to check is that the forum will allow signatures with external links. People that are interested in what you are offering in your signature will click on your link and be taken to a page on your website. Some forums are now making small charges for signature links, but if there are a lot of members and it is active, it can certainly be worth it. The strategy that you should adopt is to be active on the forums that you have joined and make posts. You can start off by answering questions that people have asked. To show that you know your subject, you can start your own thread in the forum and give some valuable information to forum members. Social Media Social media is a great way to get your message across to people. The traffic can be targeted as often people will search within Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Reddit for what they are looking for. You will need to create accounts with the social media sites and then be prepared to create a good profile and make lots of posts. Social media is not magic. It is no good just creating a Facebook page and then expecting thousands of visitors to find it. The same goes with all of the other social media sites. Starting a group for your niche is a very good way to show your authority and get free traffic to your website. Once you have created the group, you can post about it to people who will have an interest, and you can build a large following with this. You can find these people by becoming a member of related groups and then announcing the start of your group. You can derive a lot of benefit from joining groups that are already established on social media platforms. If you market to businesses, then LinkedIn is the best option. For everything else, Facebook is highly recommended.
Your ability to answer questions in a niche and provide good advice to people will quickly establish your reputation as an expert. This will make even more people want to ask you questions and receive your advice, and it will encourage people to want to know more about you by checking out your website. There's no question that Facebook groups and groups on other social media platforms can bring you a lot of additional traffic for free. The groups are free to join and only require an investment of your time and your expertise to achieve the results that you want. Blogging. Continuing on with the expert status theme, having your own blog that you post to regularly is another great way to generate free traffic. All of the best experts in their field have their own blog where they build up a following and interact with their readers. Your WordPress blog has a comments facility, which can be a goldmine for you. You want to encourage your readers to leave comments and you must respond to these quickly. This will create a bond and your readers will trust you a lot more and be more willing to buy whatever you are offering. Social sharing buttons must be enabled on your blog so that your readers can post your content to their Facebook accounts, etc. This will give you even more coverage as their friends will all see your posts. Once you have built up a good readership base for your blog, it will be easy to introduce your products to them or recommend other people's products. You will be able to drive free traffic straight to your sales page and email opt-in pages. Blogs can be really addictive, and if you post interesting and informative content, then your readers will be hungry for more. Press Releases Many people overlook the power of a well-written and distributed online press release. A good press release can help build the value of your brand, and it can have SEO benefits as well, as you will be receiving backlinks from some very good quality websites. A press release needs to be written in a journalistic tone and cannot be an advertisement or this will be rejected immediately by the networks. You need to look for a newsworthy element and then focus on that side of things. When you are writing your press releases, you want to use facts as much as possible. Email marketing. The money is in the list. This is not a course about building an email list and marketing to your subscribers, but as a free traffic method, it is one of the best around. How much does it cost to send an email to your subscribers? You are almost guaranteed traffic to your pages through email marketing. Successful email marketing is all about getting people to like and trust you so you don't approach it as a way just to send offers to people. Add value with the emails that you send. Once you have built up this trust, then when you do make an offer, you will find that a large number of your subscribers will check out what you are offering. Video traffic. Videos are a great way to obtain page one Google rankings, but they are also a good way to get free traffic to your website. A lot of people do not like the idea of creating videos as they are either camera shy or think that the process is too complex. But there are easy solutions to both of these problems. You can outsource the creation of your video. For online businesses, a show and tell video is a good idea. You can demonstrate that your product or service is effective by creating a video about it. Don't stop at one video in YouTube. Make as many videos as you can and upload them to YouTube, Daily Motion, and other video sharing sites. Make sure that you properly optimize the titles and descriptions of your videos so that they will rank well in YouTube and possibly Google. Paid traffic methods. There are a number of different paid traffic methods. We will look at two of the most effective ones here. Pay-per-click PPC. Search marketing, or as it's often called, pay-per-click PPC advertising, is a very good method to get targeted traffic to your website very quickly. With PPC, you will pay a preset amount to the search engine, in other words, Google, for their Google AdWords program, every time a visitor clicks through your ad and arrives at your website. You need to have an organized list of keywords, and then you will bid for PPC amounts. Cost per click can be as low as a penny and be as high as tens or even hundreds of dollars. It all depends on what niche you are in. Being the first ad displayed on page one is not as important as your ad being appealing to visitors. Often ads in the second or third position have performed better than those at the top. The key to PPC success is testing and knowing your numbers. You need to know how many clicks are required on average to make a sale. Control of expenditure is very important. If the keyword term gets a lot of searches, then your advertising costs can quickly mount up. You can pause your ad campaigns at any time to present this. Facebook ads. A good alternative to using Google AdWords or the other search engine PPC ads is to use Facebook ads. Although search engine traffic is the most targeted, you can get targeted traffic from Facebook. You can use Facebook ads to get likes for your Facebook page, or you can promote individual posts. Of all of the social media ad services, Facebook is likely to produce the best results for you. You can easily define your target market demographics such as age, gender, location, interests, income, and so on. You can also specify specific professions such as dentists, chiropractors, and so on. As with PPC ads, it is easy to test with Facebook ads, and you will generally find that the costs per click are lower. It's not unusual to pay between 10 to 15 cents per click. You can achieve lower cost than this if your ad campaign is a success. Like PPC, you need to measure your returns. Pause campaigns that are not working.